Hey guys, it's Hoshi. I've got another unboxing to do today. Just going to do it really quickly. So we have Final Fantasy Type-0 HD Collector's Edition. This is the retail version and not the Square Enix store version. The difference is that this has a uh, cardboard sleeve and the one from the Square Enix store has a plastic sleeve thing. So you'll see in a second. Uh, so this on the back, I don't know <laughs> what you can see. Lots of stuff. Let me take this off. And this is actually what the box art is. The Square Enix version is just clear, so it ha you can see this immediately, and it has like the logo just here. But other than that, it's identical in every way. So let's open this up if I can. It's stuck. There we go. We open it up. You can see the artwork look better. It's plain on the back. Inside, we have this. That's the art book. Obviously, everything else will be underneath it. So we we'll get to that. First, we put the art book. It's reasonably size. Will have a page is this what have in it? Find out. Find the last page. Okay, it's got about 80 pages worth of stuff. And it's you know, stuff like renders of the characters and concept art, I think this is concepts. Yes, yeah, so it's got loads of stuff like that in it. I of course will be looking at this probably later. That's just a quick glimpse. Oops. Okay, next. I guess I should show again how it is. That's how everything else is in there. Okay, so the next thing we'll look at is the, the manga. 200 pages. I, I, always, I always forget that they're back to front. <laughs> so, yeah, that wasn't that obvious thing. It's funny, I read a lot, but I always go and try and open them back to front. I mean, the, the our English way of doing <laughs> Some of it is in colour, but obviously most of it will be in black and white, which is usual. So I will read that at some point. And the next thing we have is a little sleeve with some of Ace's cards. Uh, where is the opening? Plastic here. Okay, we have five cards. They all have summons on them. This is Odin, I think. This one is the Fritz. This one is, I would say it's Diablos. I'm sure it says, but I can't read that right now. Uh, this one must be the helmet. You can see it. And then, I want to say this one is Shiva. <laughs> those are all yes. <laughs> so you've got five of those. Just put those aside quickly. And then the last thing we have, I think it's the last thing, yeah, the last thing we have is the gold steel book comes with this, which has the game in it. The game and soundtrack. They can, there we go. Look. And it also has the code for Final Fantasy XV demo, which I almost showed you. So I'm lucky I saved that because otherwise I will try and steal it. So hopefully I'll have it downloaded before this video is up. Uh, useless ether stuff. Okay, so we've got the soundtrack selection there. And we have the game disc here. Oh, that's upside down. <laughs> I thought it looked strange. And that's the book open for. So that's what we get in that. That's very quick. <laughs> um, 
Yeah, this actually, uh, I got this like 20 quid. 20 quid, got that shout out, I'm pretty sure. Um, 20 pounds cheaper because I bought it from Amazon when they had like price wrong or something. Uh, so if you get it, at, if you can get it at a store, it should be about 80 quid. So I got it about 60. If you buy it from Square Enix store and you get uh, the obviously the clear version, it's going to cost you the same, but then you have to pay delivery and all that stuff, so it's going to actually cost you more. So it's a case of is it worth paying slightly more for basically a clear sleeve that has you know it's exactly the same as this, it's just that this white section it is see through. It's entirely up to you whether you get it because you can still get it there, but I don't know if you can get this version anywhere else. You might be able to get it like in an actual store, but not 100% certain on that. Which way up is this? This way. <laughs> Just looking at it. So that was basically all you get. So again, you've got the cards, the, the box, the special box, the sleeve thingy, the steel book with the game and the uh, soundtrack. And the art book and the manga, which are over here. And then obviously the demo code, which I think that's probably what most people will end up buying the standard game for. But I obviously love collecting all these things, so that's why I got this. So that was a quick video. <coughs> Excuse me. I've been really sick, so this this is like the first video I've made for ages. Um Yes, I, now that that's done, I'm going to go and, well, I guess, download the demo first, and work on this, and I'm just rambling, I'm sorry, <laughs> okay, that was a quick look at that, and I will see you guys next time I do one, I guess, bye! <laughs>